we can all agree that irrespective of race, whether we are black or white, every mother out there wants to have a healthy child. Because yes, we have goals to pursue. And if our children are sick, we have to spend time with them in the hospital and we can do the things that we want to do. Having a healthy child is one thing which every mother aims, prays and wishes for. But that is not the aim of the food industry. The food industry is out for profits. On this video, I won't be talking much before someone will come and kidnap me. I'm sure you people want me to still be here. So at the end of this video, I'm going to direct you guys to a site which we can talk more on this topic. But then it's very important for us to note that as mothers that we are, we have children and for our children to be healthy, they can't be eating up on all these things that we see out there. Now, today I promise to tell you about the tricks which the food industry is using to get our children to eat sweets and chocolates and biscuits and filling up their stomach in such a way that even when we, we cook delicious meals, they can't eat. But then, let me show you some few examples. Take a look at these junk foods, right? And... Tell me what you notice about them in the comment section. Drop it down. Let's just take a look. Now, look at this one. Okay. Another minute. Take a look at this particular set. And now, on to the last set. If you noticed anything similar with all of them, please drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what you saw. Now, take a look at these other sets. These are sets of African meals. Look at them. Take a close look at them. Do you see the way they appear? What difference can you pick from the junk food and the African meals? Just drop a comment down. And let me tell you something. When our parents were making or creating, when our forefathers or whoever created African meals were creating them, the aim of creating them wasn't for, for people to be addicted. You remember sometimes when I was when I was young, my mother would tell me, be jumping up and down there when the food that you've eaten will go down, I'll not give you another one. So when they were preparing, when they were creating the recipes for African meals, the aim was that yes, they should be delicious, but they should be filling so that you don't have to eat so much because there was even little supply. Now with the food industry, the aim is for them to make delicious foods. Yes, if you make delicious um, recipes, people will eat them. But if you make recipes which are addictive, then people will not be able to stop eating them, thus making them to make more sales and thus more profit, which is their main aim. Now, let me take a simple example. The first thing that the food industry does to trick our children or trick us to eat more is the bliss point. Now, for example, let's go, let's think of an ice cream bar, right? An ice cream bar, the one which is stuck on a stick. Like you hold the stick and in fact, just imagining it, let me send you a picture. Let me show you a picture of it. And it's wearing on your hand. You have to support it with your fingers and you are tempted to eat all of it for that weight to be relieved. That is a bliss point. For example, take fruits and put them in a soya stick. You realize that people eat more of those fruits than if you just slice them and serve them to them on the plate. Or better still, slice fruits and poke in some toothpicks into them. You realize that people eat more than if you slice a large chunk of fruit and put for somebody to take, right? Those are tricks that they have used. There is the bliss point, which is the fact why? If you take soya to eat, you will definitely eat more soya than if you had to eat cutting meat. And even cutting meat, they will poke in those toothpicks on them to get you to eat more. The food industry has done so much research to play on our brains to get us to keep eating. But their aim is profit. And our aim as mothers is for our children to be healthy. Like, if you want to hear more on this topic, please, I'm going to drop a link for a free nutrition class. I believe that every mother should have a basic on nutrition so that they can select the right meals for their children. There is so much misleading information out there online. And if you go online, the worst thing is most of the people who are funding this research are big food companies. As I said before, I won't want to mention names here before I'm spoiling people's businesses. And then tomorrow you want to see Inyango is no longer here or Larissa Livella can no longer be online. So with the link, if you want to know more, a little bit more about nutrition to change the way your children eat food, because for our children to be healthy and become these big people that we want them to be in future, 
they have to eat healthy food it starts with food they will tell us things like um like you have to exercise more for you to stay in good health you have to control your portion but what if they just stop making us to overeat stop making their food addictive right they have put in the bliss point another thing which they use as you can see from the other junk foods is they use things that children can recognize they use beautiful colors for example, you take a, a, a sweet which they claim a sweet which they claim is made with strawberry. It should be some bright pink or maybe some bright red, or there is the yellow, there is the blue. It's also color, colorful and catchy to the eyes. Even on the packets, they play with this trick. So they trick our children by making things which they can recognize, making beautiful colors which kindergartners can recognize, children in nursery school can recognize. Because when you can recognize something, it's easier for you to pick it up and put it in your mouth. When something looks nice and attractive, it's easier for you to pick it up and eat it. And that is the trick they have used to control our kids to eat more chocolate, to eat more sweets, to want more biscuits. With the thing of using colors and shapes, they also use cartoon characters, famous cartoon characters which they know children will love on their packaging. And then they tell us it's healthy, of which maybe it's not actually healthy. I will tell more on that particular free nutrition class. It's free and it's open just for 48 hours. So if you want to learn more about nutrition and you want to control the way your children eat, if you actually want your children to be those big people which you want them to be in future, great men who will impact the future presidents, the future leaders of tomorrow, then your kids have to eat healthy. But the knowledge a mother has on nutrition affects greatly how that child's diet is going to be, which is why I made this class free. The first time I did this class, it was paid. But this time I decided that as I'm taking you on this journey to unravel a solution every mother needs, I'll give this solution for free. So make sure to click the link above. As I said, it's free and it's just for 48 hours. It's open just for 48 hours and there are limited seats. So jump now after this video and please click the link and follow the steps and join us on a Telegram group where I'll be training on this particular nutrition course. I cannot say much here. There is so much information I want to give mothers. There is so much power we have in our hands and we have to use it. Okay, so another trick which the food industry uses is the fact that they use flavors, sweet smelling things. Children eat first with their nose. So when they sense something and it sense nice, they are bound to eat it. So they use the flavors and everything, which is the reason why I'm organizing this nutrition class. Like this class is so important. With this class, you can learn and counter these tricks. And in a few weeks or months, you realize that your children are eating better. I cannot give all on this video because it's going to be so long. But if you're interested in raising healthy children, then this class is a must. And what you have to lose, it's free. The class is a three days intensive training, fun training. There is going to be so much information you're going to get there. It's an eye opener. You need to be there. So click the link and join the class. So that is the third trick that the food industry is using. Again, as I say, our aim as mothers is for our children to be healthy. But that is not the aim of the food industry. When I hear somebody says that I don't eat so much, but I don't know why I'm adding weight. And you tell me, oh, I drink sweet drinks. I'm like, oh, and then you don't know why you're adding weight. There is so much I want to teach on the nutrition class. If you've known me for a while, you know that I'm somebody who loves to teach. And it makes me happy when I transfer knowledge and just make people to be well informed about themselves. So please, this is what I brought for you today. Three tricks. There are so much more that you can learn on the nutrition class. I cannot spill everything here. Social media is an open space. Anybody can watch your video and anything can happen. So to safeguard myself and to safeguard you who is listening and you who wants to share, I'll be organizing this instruction class. The link is above this video. Make sure to click and join the class. As I said, it, it has limited seats because I won't have time to work with so many mothers. And it is open for just 48 hours for mothers who are serious and intentional about raising healthy kids. I know you're one because if you don't have enough nutrition knowledge, your child can either be suffering from obesity. The thing is you won't see the obesity now because they are so much into physical activities. But the habits which they create today will affect how they live their entire lives. So use that power which you have and 
create a better life for your child. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please follow or subscribe or like or share. Just drop a comment. Thank you so much and do have a beautiful day. Stick with me for day five as we continue on this journey because there is so much I'm unraveling and there are going to be free gifts and free things so you don't want to miss. Thank you so much again and do have a beautiful day. That is what I brought for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.